It's 13 years since FC Porto were crowned kings of Europe, a feat which saw a certain Portuguese coach thrust into the spotlight, lapping it up like a dog who just found water for the first time. So let's take a look at whatever happened to Porto starting 11 from that night in Gelsenkirchen when they beat Monaco 3-0 to lift the European Cup. Vitor Baia If you forget the two-year spell at Barcelona towards the end of the 90s, Vitor Baia spent his entire career at FC Porto. He ended up winning 10 league titles with the club, with the Champions League win no doubt being the defining moment of his career. He was named UEFA club best goalkeeper of the year that season, but surprisingly he never had his name thrust forward into the silly season of transfer rumours. He retired three years later at the age of 37. He's one of only two goalkeepers in history to have won the three main UEFA club competitions. Paulo Ferreira When Roman Abramovich which agreed to fork out for Paulo Ferreira about a week after the 25 year old lifted the Champions League, he must have thought he was finally getting an upgrade on Glenn Johnson. And then Ferreira messed up against Greece in Euro 2004's opening game, was immediately dropped, and brought his poor form to England. To be fair, he ended up finishing his career at Stamford Bridge, appearing over 200 times for the Blues, but he might have hoped to be more than just backup. After retiring in 2013, he began working for the club as an ambassador and assistant loan player technical coach, Ricardo Carvalho. Ricardo Carvalho was another who followed Mourinho to London, but instead established himself as one of the Premier League's finest defenders. Cool, calm and composed, he was the perfect blend of John Terry's blood and thunder style. He won three Premier Leagues before reuniting with Mourinho for a third time at Real Madrid in 2010, where they won a league title in Copa del Rey together. He went on to play three seasons for Monaco, before banishing the Demons of 2004 to win the European Championships last summer. He's currently in China at the age of 39, playing for Shanghai, who are managed by another former Porto and Chelsea boss, the bad one, Jorge Costa. Jorge Costa was 32 years old when he lived at the Champions League, having been at Porto since the age of 16. He hung up his boots two years later, having left for standard Liège. The former Charlton defender has since embarked on an obscure managerial career, coaching everyone from Olenense to AAL Limassol to the Gabonese national team. Sure, I suppose wherever you can get the paycheck. Nuno Valente. When Everton acquired the services of Nuno Valente a year after he won the Champions League, they might have expected an elite defender. It's all right, QPR made the same mistake. Valente spent the remaining four seasons of his career at the club, but once Leighton Baines was signed midway through, it was virtually game over. He appeared just 11 times after that. He served as a scout for the club in his homeland for a year, before linking up with Paulo Sergio's coaching staff at Sporting Lisbon. Manish. 2004 was a breakout year for the mousy-faced Portuguese star. From lifting the Champions League to battering in stunners during his country's march to the Euro 2004 final, Manish found himself linked with the biggest and best clubs in the world. Nothing materialised and he ended up at Dynamo Moscow. He rarely featured and got his move to the Premier League in January 2006, signing for Mourinho's Chelsea on loan. He needn't have bothered. His red card on his debut was about as exciting as it got for him. Following another impressive tournament showing, this time at the World Cup, he was rewarded with a move to Atletico Madrid where he stayed until 2009. He retired in 2011 at Sporting Lisbon, and his most recent job was serving as assistant manager to Castina at Academica de Coimbra. Speaking of which, Castina, remember for his last minute strike at Old Trafford, which knocked Manchester United out of the Champions League and almost saw Mourinho ruin a perfectly good suit? Castina also left Porto in 2005 for Dinamo Moscow, where he played just 10 games. He subsequently spent the next season at Atletico Madrid, before seeing out the remaining three years of his career at Atlanta, where despite being the club's highest earner, he featured just once. He's currently been managing Academica de Queen Ref for the last year. Pedro Mendes. A familiar face to British audiences and Ben Thatcher's pointy elbow, Pedro Mendes only played one season at Porto. Couldn't have picked a better time, to be honest. He was snapped up by Tottenham weeks later, with Helder Bastiga moving the other way. He only scored once for Tottenham in 36 games, well, according to Mark Klettenberg anyway, and signed for Portsmouth in January 2006. He then helped steer them away from relegation and to an historic FA Cup win, before leaving for Rangers in 2009. He finished his career in 2011 with Vittoria and is the current agent of Rangers boss Pedro Caxina. Deco. Without a shadow of a doubt, the most talented player in his starting 11. Deco was a gem of a player who was immediately rewarded with a big money move to Barcelona. The Ballon d'Or nominee went on to win two league titles and a Champions League during his fourth seasons at the club, before Guardiola reigned all over his parade, practically within five minutes of taking the job. After being kicked out, he spent two years at Chelsea, winning a league and two FA Cups, before retiring in his homeland with Brazilian side Fluminense. And yes, I know he has 75 caps from Portugal. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto, whatever happened to you? Considering Brazil have been stacked with attacking midfielders to the point where they forced Deco into being Portuguese, the fact that Alberto never lived up to his billing probably doesn't keep them all up at night. However, it seems a shame that he never kicked on, having opened the scoring against Monaco with just 19 years of of age, three years before Ronaldo's first ever Champions League goal. Since that night, he's moved clubs 13 times, bouncing between a barrage of Brazilian clubs. The last time he's seen in Europe was seven years ago at Werder Bremen. At the age of 32, he's currently on the books of Atletico Paranense and has not represented his country in 12 years. Derlai, a prolific goal scorer in Europe for that FC Porto side. Derlai was certainly a handful under Jose Mourinho. However, like many in that side, he gave it one more year before signing for... 
Yeah, you guessed it, Dynamo Moscow. Unlike Manish and Castina, he actually seemed to enjoy it out there, bagging 24 goals in 33 games. He returned to Portugal in 2007, first with Benfica on loan, before signing for Sporting Lisbon. He retired in 2010 in his native Brazil, having never pulled on the famous yellow jersey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.